sexual, whatever. Oh. <laughs> she said, I started praying for you. Not for today, this was the last time you thought she did it on the radio. On the radio. <coughs> yeah, this is a big deal with this fracking and what these people are doing. They're putting these companies under. Literally under. Oh, yeah. They actually put they put out millions of dollars just to buy up buildings in town so they can convert them into little miniature hotels and apartments because they had self-anticipated so many people coming in, they figured it was cheaper to buy their own building and convert it than to rent out hotel rooms for all their people who were coming in and out of town. You know, all the Muslims, they come in and then take over. They do use that gradualism thing. Oh, we're so nice and friendly. And they come in and start dominating. Well, I put a big, long posting on there because everybody was celebrating this dollar sixty-nine a gallon stuff on there, and I explained just what I already said to you guys. Yeah, wait till, wait till they figure that they've they put enough people out, out, and then, mm -hmm. and then, then they're looking at five and six and seven dollars a gallon. Did you see with uh, Mr. Wonderful? Uh, uh, not Kane, yeah, no, not Kane. What's the, what's the representative that's over there in France right now with the Global oh, Warming Conference? Kerry. What's his name? Kerry. Kerry, yeah. Did you see what he did last night? No, I'm not telling. Oh, because they want all everybody to get together and they somebody spoke up and said, well, the people who have more money should give more money. And they had already committed $400 million oh, to the cause. And he got up there like some big shot and says, the United States of America would like to let everybody know here that we've decided to double our input. We're going to double what we can do. And everybody stood up and gave a standing ovation to him. Hmm. Said, Wasn't that nice of you to give away money we don't have? First of all, his, his real name is not even Kerry. His real name is Cohen. They had it changed so that his initials would be JFK. They, they wanted to run him. Remember, they tried to run him. All of the commercials where he was playing tennis with JFK and where he was on the yacht with JFK, that was done. Everybody knew what was going on except for JFK. That was being done by the communist. And so he's married to Heinz, which is the, the Heinz ketchup company, and, uh, which is... Uh, Worth millions. Now here's a guy, remember, he's one of the big global warming fellas. And they, they own four big SUVs. Oh, same way as what's his face that got it all started. Al Gore. Al Gore sitting out there. His monthly bill alone is like $3,600 just to keep his house running. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I, I don't think, I don't know if he would be interested, but out the car, I'm taking this. This gun of mine, but it's, it's not what you, but you, you were looking for a firearm. I'm glad you said something, because that was my second thing. It was the first time to get past the, the check, and then that question. And then I wanted to talk to you about that deal. Yeah. Now, this one, I don't think you, this, the one I got out there, is, it's an antique German Luger. And it's, it's worth probably about, to the estimate, maybe 10000 you're looking just for the fire to protect yourself with, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have no desire for that other. And I know the right guy that you'd want to talk to about that. He's a, he's a collector, collector. No, I'm looking for some protection stuff. I'm looking for an AK or AR. That's why I didn't want to see anything on the phone at all. AR 15s you're looking for? Yeah. I got a connection that uh, is an ex-military guy that has AR-15s. Well, the bottom line that, is that you can sell them out of your own private collection without it being registered. Yeah, to, well, no paperwork. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you go to a gun show, you yeah. have to get it out of somebody's private collection because if it's if it's a store and it's new, then you got to do the paperwork on it. And that's what I don't want to do. Yeah, there's one I'm thinking about. It's about 850 that handles two two threes. And the magazines are interchangeable with AR-15s, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a uh, uh, automatic pistol is what they claim it is, but it can have an extension on it for like a uh, folding rifle s mm -hmm. stock, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll it'll handle 30 round clips. Oh, well, is this from this guy's private, or does he have a store? <coughs> well, he's got both. He's got private and both, and mostly what he 
you know, we'll deal with is uh, off the paper. Yeah. Period. Yeah, you're better off. And the third question, was this the same guy you were talking about? No, well, that's a different guy. Oh, no, that's the guy that I was talking about. Okay, uh, he, uh, he actually, uh, uh, you know, he, he handles AR-14s. He told me to give, not give, uh, the guy I'm, I'm, I'm going to see tonight owns a gun store. But he's actually a cop. He was one of our speakers at our conference. He owns a gun store, but he's a cop, and he, uh, he you know, he, he he does everything on the, you know, according to license and stuff like that. Okay. Unless you, you know, happen to you know, know him very very well. But uh, uh, are you talking about that other fellow, uh, Charlie? No, I'm talking about the guy that donated that holster to you some time ago. Okay. Yeah, you know, he's special forces, and uh, I haven't seen him in, in a while. Yeah, this, this um, AR-15 that I'm talking about looks like a uh, AK-47, only it's 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 chambered in two two threes, and I think he said it had like three or four clips to go with it, and uh, some ammo, and he's looking for 850. I'm started talking to Valerie about it because she was wanting to get a newsie and he said this is uh, much more effective than just a newsie. He said you put uh, armor piercing in it and uh, you can uh, definitely make an impact. Well, it would be nice to get a new one at a good price. Yeah. I'm probably looking at a used one but I want it definitely Functional. I don't want a piece oh of yeah, stuff. no, you want a, no first class stuff. Uh, you don't want anything that's not. Exactly. And uh, he was telling me like compared to Uzis, the good Uzis from Israel, some of those are like twenty five hundred bucks. Now, two years ago they weren't. Yeah, but. Uh, I saw it now after this thing in California, they're going to skyrocket again. Yeah. And people are afraid. Larry Nichols had to sell all his. Yeah, to say he had one in front of every window. I was in his house, in front of every window in that house, even the bathroom. He had news. He sitting on the nice bed. He had to sell them all to try to pay for his operation. Well, I was going to say why, because I, I, when I opened this place, I had a beautiful gun collection. And I, I'm so saddened because I had some beautiful stuff. Thompson's, I had a Python, a 357, 84, Wow. I had a couple of... Uh, if I get one of your styles. cards, I'll have this guy call you. Yeah, I, I definitely would be interested in it. He's I from around... I anybody in the parking lot anymore. No, no, he's from around Canton. He's been to multiple gun shows. And Most he's, uh, gun people go to a mall. I missed the last one because they moved it. I didn't know they moved to Liberty. Yeah, he he sold a lot of guns in that gun show. That's the problem with gun shows, is you're passing by somebody and they say, oh yeah, and then you get it home and you find out it's they were getting rid of it for a reason. Yeah. So are you saying that I should talk to this guy you're talking about or? Well, I think so. I mean, he's worth talking to, and he's always I mean, been straight. I know Pastor Sanders told me about somebody. Else. That's what I wanted to get clear today. Yeah, the fellow he's yeah. talking about, he's he's been around. He's uh, well informed on a lot of things that's going on. <coughs> this is to me on the radio all the time. Well, do you think that he's asked more? I'm talking about the guy you were talking about. Besides the one he's talking. Well, the guy that yeah. Um, or the cop he knows. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, he's got a you know, a lot. He's got a regular, you know, gun. I could well when I talked to him tonight, but I just mentioned I know someone who wants to uh, to buy an AR fourteen. I don't want to register and see what he says.
going to be an issue. I'm going to sit here. I'm just trying to Are video while he's getting his hair cut. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I'm the cameraman. I have to keep that in. He's the guy that watches, uh, you know, because sometimes when I get off the air, uh, I'm the only one out in that parking lot. It's my car when, we, when I leave there. Sometimes I get some nut cases that, that wait for me out there. Yeah, I imagine so. so. That was a concern of a woman this morning talking about, she was concerned that, um, about the safety of Donald Trump and the threat of somebody assassinating him. I wouldn't worry too much about Trump. He's got, not only does he have Secret Service, he's got his own. Does he have Secret Service now? He yes. Yeah. He isn't going to get any no, he, he has Secret Service I don't, I don't think they could assassinate Donald Trump. His own. Okay. You can't shoot him in heart because he doesn't have one. <laughs> and I think if you try to shoot him in the head, the bullet wouldn't get through the hair. <laughs> hair alone. I've touched that hair personally, myself. I have. I don't know if I want you touching mine then. <laughs> I didn't cut it or style it. I just touched it. <clears throat> so is that for real? Well, I'm, I'm taking a wait to see that or two with Trumpo because I think uh, everybody is. He's to be. We don't. You know, the idea is is what's he up to? You know, Cruz is the one we're supporting. The Tea Party. Is that the guy that was on the radio? His dad. His, that I listened to was his dad. Is his dad active? His dad, Raphael, was in yeah, right. Batista's prison camp in Cuba. Well, I think I heard him speak, and he spoke with a lot of intelligence. Yeah, well, he is. He definitely Cruz is the smartest of you know of the candidates running. He's uh, got a very high IQ. You know. But I've been watching, following their records, and, and he has. He's the only one that's done exactly what he said today, of course, he hasn't, he hasn't backtracked, he hasn't, uh, you know, walked it back, as they call it nowadays, so. I don't think some good godly men like Huckabee has a chance, though, you're too, too ultra-conservative. Well, Cruz is the very same way, he, he was raised, his dad, Raphael, is a pastor, and I, I know him very well, and Cruz was raised in the Bible, he's a very, a very religious man. Holds to the word of God, and he's not afraid to say so either. Cruz. Ted Cruz, yeah. Ted Cruz, yeah. Well, I think we've got a very angry America, and they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. <clears throat> well, and there's a lot of afraid people who are very afraid of what's going on. The two parties is supporting Cruz. You're going to see he's going to get there. Very much what about about this? Do they want to let 50,000? 50,000 people from Syria into this country? More than that, they have a total of gold when it's all over to 200,000. Just let them float in the door, give them all the benefits and everything, huh? Yep. Since 2008, they've already brought in 700,000. Let alone the ones from Guatemala yeah. and all those other areas down there. Yep. Yeah. Man, man. <coughs> Something like 50 to 75,000 a month. How can you protect a country when they allow that kind of <clears throat> I just pray that I'm not right about something because I'm not the smartest cookie in the jar, but I can tell you that if I was going to attack this country and take it down, I wouldn't fly three airplanes in and kill 3,000, or I wouldn't shoot a couple people at a Christmas party. I would, I would do something a little bit more organized with the money that they have to deal with. I would think after they infiltrated the United States, I would simultaneously set off about in a hundred different cities in hotel rooms in major cities and blow a block up and you'd set off such chaos and anarchy you wouldn't even have to fire another bullet. You'd kill each other trying to get food for <coughs> some time. So here's some things to watch for, okay. Remember in 2008 when, when uh, they had Obama Nation's coronation. Down in Washington, D.C., you had about every hundred yards going down Pennsylvania Avenue, going down Constitution Avenue, you had vendors set up. And these vendors were selling these plaques. Selling what? Plaques. Plaques. Yeah. 
and the plaques were about 14 inches high and about 18 inches long. And on the plaques, they had five ovals, starting from left to right, uh, in the left-hand corner as you were facing it. They had Abraham Lincoln, then they had JFK, and right at 12 o'clock straight up, they had Martin Luther King. Then they had Bobby Kennedy, but the last one was Barack Hussein Abomination. Now, what do you think the message is there? Remember the the first four all died of how? Assassination. Assassination. And they were all shot where? In the head. Okay, now, where is the Antichrist supposed to receive his? In the head. In the head. In the head, and then he's going to have a miraculous healing. In three days, he's going to be, he's going to arrise. According to the Bible, it, that's exactly what the Bible says. Yeah. Now, do you think that, uh, do you think that they were they set this thing up because people have got these plaques by the hundreds of thousands all over the country and their walls you go into the black business or a lot of the black homes and uh, there you find that plaque up on the wall now everything about that fellow if you you know is you were asking the questions how in the world did he come out of no place and Get, go right through just all of the security and then end up uh, in that Oval Office not once but twice where there was something that's supernatural about all that. It was not just plain natural. Mm -hmm. And then if you put that with his name is in the Bible. Very few people know that. And it's, it's in Isaiah 14, 14 and also in Luke chapter 10 and Ezekiel 20, 29. And so, not only that, but the, uh, the name that uh, the CIA uh, gave him, you know, his, you know, they, they, they announced these names. Uh, they already announced what uh, Trump's name is, and they already gave, uh, what's his name? I was going to ask you that. How did the Bob well, get his name because that's not his real name, right? He's got about five names. What's how many social security numbers? Yeah. He uh, ran as a uh, as a student. He was a foreign student here. <clears throat> he went to Stanford under uh, Barry Sotero, under the name of Barry Sotero. And then uh, he had uh, Barack Hussein Obama, and another a name. I've, uh, I've got them all out there in the car, but he's five different names he ran under all together. So what was the purpose for the plaques? Well, the purpose of the plaques, look, if you're, if you're going to set this out there, these guys all had, uh, were assassinated. They were all shot in the head. And to have Obama on there, in other words, he was supposed to be, his picture is on that plaque uh, to send an esoteric message out there that if he gets assassinated, uh, to those people, that he will be assassinated, okay, to his people. Remember, a number of them worship him, okay? That Jamie Foxx, do you remember from yeah. Soul Train? Yeah. Uh, when they had that, if you saw that, uh, they had those you know, thousands of people out there and they dedicated the program. Jamie Foxx got up and said, we want to dedicate this program and, and give thanks to our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. Remember Louis Farrakhan? Yep. Louis says, when Barack is speaking, the Messiah is speaking. Valerie Jarrett, she said that Barack is not a, he is more than just a mortal man. And in fact, she said that he is so intelligent that the, the office of the presidency no longer presents uh, enough of a challenge to him. 
she's the one that wrote in her yearbook that she was uh, an Ar Ar Iranian. She was. Uh, she was born in Iran, she was an American citizen now, and that she was a Muslim now, and that her goal was to convert America into a, a Muslim country. And she said right in her 1977 Stanford University book, right next to her name, her picture rather, that uh, it was America's freedom of speech that she would use against America to America to Sharia law. Well, who was it that 50 years ago or so said that the next time they're going to take down the country from within? What big time political guy did that? Who well, there was a number of them. Nikita Khrushchev was the Khrushchev one that said, We will destroy you from within. within yeah. Your children of today will be our rulers of tomorrow. Yeah, they're already doing some of that through children's services. Well, I remember when he said that. Who were the people at that time? They were Jane Fonda, they were John <coughs> Kerry, all these were yeah. uh, the college class of the time. Let me see if you know this one. <coughs> you just posted it. Like, this is some big surprise about keeping the, the Muslims out. Jimmy Carter put up a wall to keep all the Iranians out back when he was president. Sergio. Hey, hey, I was thinking about you last night. What up, Dominique? I can. Uh, let me see. 4.30, 5-ish. Um, I could guess about 5 or 5.15. Let's be here at 5. I think we should be good. All right? All right, see you then. Thank you. Yeah, Jimmy Carter. Exiled all yeah, the get Iranians it back then. Of course, he couldn't get the hostages free. It took Reagan to do that. Where are you having service? Paul and I. Yeah, we're having the uh, last of our series of Bible studies on the uh, New Age Church, the purpose driven and exposing. Your buddy, I was going to surprise you. He's supposed to be here. He's supposed to be on his way. I talked to him about 10 minutes before he got here. He said, I'll be there in five minutes. Who was that? Michael. Oh, yeah. He said he's, he would be, be at the church. He is. Oh, he said he was on his way. He said, I'll be there in about five minutes. That was mm. half an hour ago. Good old Michael. What do you think about him buying the radio station? Well, I know he's been wanting to do that for a long time. And you know, I'm afraid that he's doing the right thing instead of doing it because he wants to. Yeah, I do too. So don't forget, you got to feed your family too. Yeah, I'm going to try to help him out with it a little bit. Well, I was going to say speaking of angels, but it's not. Hi, well, what about? He was speaking an angel and then you walked in, so I don't know if that coincides or not. Good job. The last question I want to ask you about was uh, I see even some of the churches and radio and TV stations are now advertising survival as food. Survival foods. You know anything about that? Oh, there's a, a lot of good ones out there. And they're a wise food. <coughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. most of them are all coming out of uh, Utah. So I saw a Christian and Christian station they were out of the one of the one of the churches was selling. Actually, they were selling it, giving it for as a donation, I guess. It would be good to have, you know. Solomon said to have your uh, your wealth and. and seven or eight and uh, one of the things you definitely would want would be some um, some dehydrated food right that's we why have. i'm asking you which one do you think is the best if you know because uh, like i said I, I, I only saw one christian place selling but the other ones are mostly out of utah one of them is wise food they advertise pretty good at one of their flyers but yeah it also well. says in proverbs be wise as the ant and prepare for the winter and pray that your demise doesn't happen in the winter time. Well, some of these stuff would, would 
we do is I get a lot of my stuff right from the salvage stores up there in the Amish. Yeah, but that shelf life is only good for so long. Uh, most of those dried things like the rice and that, they last for a very long time. Oh, yeah, rice. Yeah. And, uh, a lot of that's useless unless you got water, so where are you going to need the water at? What you can get now is you can get there. Right? Yeah, shampoo Mr. Wayne real quick, please. I'm sorry, did you say something after I Yeah, today you can get, I mean, even Walmart has a good supply of dehydrated foods that they're selling there, so. for water, you can get those straws. What about water itself? What do you mean from water? Because most of them are all activated before. Well, what I have is I have a number of those water purifiers. In fact, I guess so those maybe you can use this thing here. I'll cut off the video. Yeah, they're good.